Go from this to this in seven simple steps. First, skin smoothening. Select the mixer brush tool. Select a soft round brush and you can copy the settings. Now gently brush over the skin in small strokes. I'll fast forward this part, but you all can take your time with it. Next step is Camera Raw Filter. Right click on your cutout layer and convert to Smart Object. Go to Camera Raw Filter and make some basic exposure adjustments. Increase sharpening, texture, and clarity. Make these adjustments according to your image. Now click on OK and exit camera raw filter. Now we will paint shadows and highlights. Create a new exposure adjustment layer. Clip it to the main layer and set the value around minus three. Now invert the mask. Pick a soft round brush. Keep the opacity around 30% and start brushing in areas where you think the shadows should be. Make sure you have white as the foreground color. Now we will repeat this process for the highlights. Create a new exposure adjustment layer and set the value to plus three and paint in where the highlights should be. Take your time with this step. Now we will fix the skin tone. For that, create a selective color adjustment layer. Select red from the drop down menu and make adjustments. These changes depend on the image you choose, so experiment accordingly. Now we have to make the colors pop. Make a color lookup adjustment layer and select the three strip Le T and decrease the opacity according to your liking. We're almost finished. Next up, we'll use the dodge and burn technique to enhance the shadows and highlights. Make a new layer and fill it with 50% gray and set it to overlay blending mode. Select the burn tool, keep the range at mid tones and keep the exposure at around 40%. Now gently brush over the areas which should be darker. Now select the dodge tool and paint in the areas which should be lighter. Now the final step is adding the outer glow. Create a new empty layer and clip it to the cutout layer. Select a soft round brush with 100% opacity and make it smaller. Gently paint at the edges. You can skip this step if you're working with a different and complex background. Now create a new layer and set it to screen blending mode. Select a yellow or orange color and with 30% opacity paint in some parts of the face and body where the light is falling. Now let's group everything together and look at the before and after. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. See you in the next video.